Rated M for Mature. Well, there are four groupings of skills. We have the mastermind, the enforcer, the technician, and the ghost. There are different archetypes, basically. So uh, the mastermind is like Robert De Niro in Heat. He's a crowd control guy. He's, uh, he's a leadership guy. He uses the medical bag uh, as his kind of primary gadget. The technician is the gadget dude, you know, like uh, the guy who uses a drill, the guy who's really good with trip mines and sentry guns, those are, those are his things that he uses. Then you have the enforcer, who's kind of the heavy, the muscle guy, the guy who's good with weapons, who uh, has more health than other dudes, uh, and his thing is the ammo bag. And finally you have the, the ghost, um, and that's the stealth guy, the, the sneaky one, uh, the one who uh, has this ECM jammer who can stop alarms and open doors electronically and all that stuff. Every time you level, you earn a skill point, uh, and you can invest that skill point in uh, any of the skills in the trees. So um, when you have enough skill points, you might be able to even uh, buy your way into a, into a higher tier, which will unlock additional abilities and give you access to a new range of skills. Games are about interesting choices, and I think the skill system gives you interesting choices that affect the way that you experience the game. And to me, that's like the, that's the, that's the reason to have something.